Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging. I am currently sitting in a second generation electric Kia Nero, and it is not called the e-Nero anymore. No, it is now called the Nero EV. But who cares? It is time for a range test with this car. The second generation Kia Nero EV has a battery pack of 64.8 kilowatt hours where the previous generation had a battery pack of 64 kilowatt hours. So 0.8 kilowatt hours larger, yeah. That is not going to make any difference at all, but hey, it's a fact. Another fact, according to the WLTP, this car can do around 465 kilometers on one full battery. So let's see if it can do that. Because Kia NTU nice, from my experiences, experiences, Kias and the Hyundai's can do their claim to WLTP range. But today, probably not, because, well, there is barely any wind, so that is perfect, but it is 10 degrees Celsius. The lowest temperature this evening will be 7 degrees Celsius. And also, this car is not available with a heat pump in the Netherlands. So, today, I will probably not do 465 kilometers but I can estimate if it can do that in summer. You know the drill, I will do one test at 90 km per hour to simulate those mixed driving conditions, and I will do one test at 130 km per hour. The car is already charged to 96%, so let's go. Still going strong, still going strong, yes. It is a bit rainy and gray here though, in the east of the Netherlands, but I have actually already turned around at the German border because at 90 km per hour, the German border from the starting point is around one and a half hours. So I have been driving for more than one and a half hours, one hour and 47 minutes to be precise. In this time, the car has used around one third of the battery, so 33%. And on that 33%, I have done 150 kilometers. So do some calculation, 150 times 3 is... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 450 kilometers on one full battery. Pretty good, still pretty good. It is early spring, it is not winter anymore, but it is, well, it's not cold. Chilly, is that a good word? Anyway, it's nine degrees Celsius right now. The average consumption is still 15.0 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers which is, I think is really good. When I drove east, it was actually dropping and the lowest I got was 14.6. <laughs> that is really impressive. But going east again, uh, going west again, there's probably some wind from the west, knowing this is the Netherlands, so the chance is high. Um, it has gone up a bit again, but still 15 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Really good. I will give you another update soon or you will see me at the charger. Okay, so last update before I go to the charger. The car has used 50% state of charge and on that 50% I have done 220 kilometers. So it is again a bit less, 440 kilometers that you can do on one full battery. So as I said, this, the state of charge scale is not linear. And this is not a Hyundai and Kia thing, more EVs have this but it is what it is. So I'll see you at the charger. All right, I am charging at the charger because where else? With a pretty slow speed of 40 kilowatts. Well, I was charging with a pretty slow speed of 40 kilowatts. It just gone up to 46 at 53%. Yeah, that is disappointing. I hope the car is heating up the battery, that the battery is just cold and that when the battery is warmed up that I get a higher charging speed. I turned off battery conditioning because I did not want it to influence a 90 km per hour test. I did not want the car to heat up the battery while I was doing the test. And therefore I turned it off, but I assume, like all electric cars, that when you plug it in into a charger, it will heat up the battery to reach a optimal charging speed. So my assumption is the battery is just cold. It is warming it up, I hope, or the charger is faulty. And if none of those things are true, then that is a pretty big disappointment. 46 kilowatts at 54%.
but what I, whatever. I will try it again after the 130 kilometers per hour test, see what the charging speed is then. Anyway, the result of the 90 kilometers per hour test. I started the test with 95% state of charge. I know I said 96, but as, as soon as I hit the accelerator, it dropped to 95. So we will count with 95. 95%, I arrived here at the charger with 41%. So that means I've used 54%. On that 54%, I have done 239.2 kilometers. If we do the calculation, you can drive on one full battery while it is 10 degrees Celsius, little bit of rain, barely any wind, 443 kilometers. That is really good. Again, the WLTP range is around 465 kilometers. So 443 in these conditions, again, very good Kia, very good. This is, this is one of the reasons why I love the Nero. It is so goddamn efficient. The average consumption during this test was 15.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And again, really good. That is why I love the Nero. But anyway, I am charging up. I want to charge up to 80%, but according to the car, that will take me another 28 minutes. Come on, go a little bit faster, please. And then I will do the 130 kilometers per hour test. And the charging speed dropped again to 41 kilowatts. Ah, oh, jeez. All right, there I go, doing the 130 kilometers per hour test. The car is charged to 76%, so not 80, because this is not the fastest charging car in the world. And for the test, it doesn't really matter anyway. I mean, if I take, for example, 75 to 25%, I also even out a bit of the non-linear state of charge scale. So yeah, win-win, I guess. So there we go, here is the highway, freeway, however you call it, the power. It does zero to 100 in about eight seconds. Front wheel drive, not bad, not bad. The wheels do spin though when you floor the accelerator. It is less than in the previous generation though, because the car has less torque, because people complained that, well, the, the tires spent spin too much. So it is less, but it is still there. Anyway, let's cruise now at 133. 33, is it now 33? Now it is. It is also not the most quiet car in the world, but it is okay. It's acceptable, it's fine. Anyway, I will keep on going and do the 130 kilometers power test. All right, so I am charging after the 130 kilometers per hour test. And when I plugged in the car, it had 14% state of charge and I got 80 kilowatts. And 80 kilowatts is the maximum fast charging speed of this car. Yeah, I know it's not that quick. But the reason why I was charging so slow after the 90 test was I still had a cold battery. Anyway, let's get to the result of the 130 kilometers per hour test. I started the test with 76% and I arrived at the charger with 14%. So that means I've used 62%. On those 62%, I have done 165.4 kilometers. So if I do the calculation, you can drive while it is nine degrees Celsius outside and there is barely any wind while driving 130 kilometers per hour, 267 kilometers. And that is pretty good. The average consumption this test was 24 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And again, that is pretty good or actually very good. This is a efficient car. And that is why I like the Nero. I have seen results of the previous Nero uh, doing 300 kilometers while doing 130 kilometers per hour in summer. And I think in summer, if you're lucky, you can, you can get that. Or if you're a little bit less lucky, you can get really close. Again, this is a efficient car and that is why I like it. So that was the range test of the Kia Niro EV. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment and it would be awesome if you subscribed. 
And then I would like to say now, thank you a lot for watching. And as always, to be continued.